Hello everyone, this is Eric, the Asian movie enthusiast, and this is my review of On the Job, a Filipino crime movie from 2013 that was directed by Eric Madi. Here's the Wikipedia plot synopsis for you. In the Philippines, Mario and Daniel are prisoners who are frequently released and paid to commit contract killings. So Mario spends his earnings on his daughter and his estranged wife, while Daniel uh, sends remittances to his family and spends the rest on goods and privileges in prison. He has come to see Mario as a mentor and father figure. After they murder a drug lord and return to prison, the murder case is assigned to an NBI agent. Now, according to IMDb, this dramatic thriller is inspired by a real-life scandal in which inmates were temporarily released from prison to work as contract killers on behalf of politicians and high-ranking military officials. So that's pretty crazy stuff, if it's true. Now the story, it grabs you very early. After the opening assassination, they play a montage of news reports describing the series of murders that have been perpetrated by unknown hitmen. And you get the impression that it's like a repetitive, serious problem within the world that the story creates. And even more intriguing is that, of course, they're working for the government under the table, so to speak. So, uh, of course, we need a character in this film who has some semblance of morality. So we're quickly introduced to our protagonist cop, or prosecutor, uh, a young man who has a greater sense of justice when compared to the people who are a part of the corrupt system. And as you might expect, his superiors get wind of this, and they attempt to rein him in and break him into accepting the corruption. And it's a very good kind of like dilemma conflict for for the whole film to revolve around the character work is good quality stuff it humanizes the hitmen and it shows their family personal relationships and situations the younger guy is very kind of ambitious but he's lacking in discipline whereas the older hitman is very efficient you know he's uh, very smooth and he doesn't hesitate with what needs to be done the script does not sugarcoat the personalities of these guys they do some bad stuff, and there's scenes in the film where you do not like them, but they're still believably human in the sense that they have everyday lives and realistic dilemmas. You know what I mean? And as a viewer, you're not really sure who's going to make it out of this movie. Who's going to survive? Is, is, is our protagonist, cop prosecutor dude, going to make it? You know what I mean? Is he going to take these guys down? Are one or both of the hitmen going to make it out alive? You're, I, I, I had difficulty predicting. You know what I mean? This. And uh, that's good. Now, On the Job is nicely gritty in its depiction of urban environments. I like how they, they immediately just throw you into the neighborhoods during the opening scene. There's a really neat festival uh, that attracts large crowds in the street, and you get a good feel for the urban landscape that these characters navigate for the rest of the film. Uh, this is realistic in its action design, too, and it gets pretty violent. <laughs> I mean, the opening scene shows a dude get his head blown apart. So you kind of know what you're in for. It's not like, it's not overly gra graphic all of the time. You know, there's a few scenes where it gets pretty bloody. But for the most part, it's, it's classy enough and it doesn't feel gratuitous. Uh, but there's also some good suspense. One of my favorite scenes uh, occurs in a hospital, so look out for that one. And there's also a pretty lengthy action set piece in the middle, which is basically like a foot chase shootout in crowded areas. That's, that's pretty solid. So... This is more of a drama than it is an action movie, for sure. It's kind of a hybrid between drama, thriller, action. But we do get a few good, you know, thriller and action moments uh, here and there. Now, the last Eric Mahdi film that I reviewed was his 2008 movie, By Bust, which I enjoyed quite a bit. I love the atmosphere of that movie. I think the pacing's great. But it proved to be a, a divisive film online. Some people really hated it. So I want to make my next point clear. If you did not enjoy By Bust, you should still watch On the Job because it's a very different film. All right. I think most people who watch this are going to enjoy it. And the reason is because it's more consistent across like traditional filmmaking categories. The character work, the camera work, the acting, the editing are all solid in this. So it's just a solid quality movie from top to bottom. So I think, you know, don't let By Bust turn you off if you didn't like that one. Uh, on the Job is one to definitely check out, regardless. So I definitely recommend this film. Uh, it's currently available on multiple streaming sites. You can watch it for free on Tubi. 
And as always, I will see you next time.